What's going on, everyone? The sports back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Toronto Raptors. A lot of people are concerned with the Raptors, and of course, us as fans, we're going to, of course, go to the worst case scenario. And is it time to panic for the Toronto Raptors? And I think it's not time to panic. Um, you know, we're th we currently sit 13 and 14. That is good for um, ninth in the Eastern Conference. You know, but you look at where Cleveland is up there in third in the East. It's only a th we're only three games back of that, you know, and, and teams are starting off slow this year. You know, obviously the Bulls, the Heat, they're all starting off slow, um, you know, so it's not time to panic in my opinion, you know, it's it's not, you know, time to be concerned. You take a look at where the Celtics were last year, you know, at the end of 2021, so like December 2021, they were 16 and 19. And that's three games under 500, and then they went all the way to the NBA Finals. You know, the Raptors, this is the first time they've been under 500. Um, you know, since they were 1-2, and two, they haven't been under 500 since then. You know, and yes, it is, you know, concerning that they've played this poorly. But you take a look at injuries, it's been a huge factor. Pascal's missed 10 games, you know. Fred's missed a chunk of games. OG's out for the last one, and he's probably going to be out for, you know, the next three or four games. Um, you know, you look at Barnes, he's missed some time, you know. Trent has missed a couple games. Achua has been out for a long time. Same with Otto Porter Jr., two key pieces to our bench, you know, with a chunk of time missing, you know. So, in my opinion, it's not time to panic, you know. The Raptors can string together some games and wins, you know. And and when when you got guys missing that much time, you're obviously it's, you're gonna struggle. You know it's not gonna be easy. And you know you you erase the last two games. You, you know that those games were hiccups in my opinion. You know they were complete hiccups. And you erase those games, and you're 15 and 12, and you're looking at a complete different scenario where you're fifth in the Eastern Conference, the same record as Philly. You know and and everything changes. You know so. You know if the Raptors play Orlando. 10 more times, they probably won't lose two in a row, you know, and so it was just a tough two stretch, two game stretch, and I have no, no, no doubt in my mind, I have all the confidence in the world that this team's going to be able to get back to, you know, where they belong and, and get back to the winning ways, you know, because that's where the Raptors belong, we're a winning franchise here, we're a winning team, you know, and let's get healthy, and let's, you know, we're getting a tough part of our schedule away with, which is very good, you know, and that, that means, you know, when when we're looking at that stretch, you know, in uh, in February, where you have a fairly easy schedule, you know, right? You play the Jazz, the Rockets, the Spurs, the Jazz again, the Pistons, the Magic, the Pistons again. You know, th those are easier games. Having that schedule still to play leaves a lot of you know optimism and and a lot of room for wins. And and though these we're 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 getting the hard part of the schedule out of the way at the early part of the year, you know, so there's going to be struggles right now, yes, um, so, you know, you take a look at the, who the Raptors have already played, they played the Lakers, they played the Celtics, they played the Nets three times, they played the Cavs a couple times, they played, you know, the Mavericks, the Hawks, they played the Heat three times, you know, these are all good teams, and we're getting them away with, you know, and, and we're gonna, we're gonna have, you know, some, some big games at, at the end of the year, you know, obviously the Raptors are going to try and avoid the play and get in the top six, but we're only a game away from sixth place, you know, right? So I predicted it. There's not, you know, it's not going to be a big, um, you know, the, the I said the third or fourth place to the 12th place is not going to be a huge difference in terms of games, you know, and, and early on in the season, yeah, you know, obviously it's a small sample size, but, you know, we're, we're seeing that right now here at this early part in the year you know so if you're asking me if it's time to panic or hit the panic button for the raptors my answer to you is absolutely not no i do not think that you know the raptors should panic i think a team like the pacers are gonna fall off they're not a 500 team in my opinion you know obviously they're three and seven in their last 10 games you know that that goes to show you they're they're, they're going down a bit you know you take a look at a team like the hawks who, you know, are another team that's struggling. They're 3-7 th and seven in their last 10. You know, they're falling off a bit. Cleveland, I don't know if they maintain, you know, third in, in the East. I don't know if they're, I don't think they're that good of a team. You know, so I, I think the Raptors are more 
um, then okay right now here we're getting the tough games away with and then you know when the schedule starts to ease up you know we'll, we'll, we'll win our games we're still getting going though you know we're still um, you know we're still trying to uh, you know get a, a hang of things and get a hold of things and once we, the Raptors are playing our team basketball that you know we've seen in, in, in bits and pieces and glimpses um, you know we will be um, you know, that team that everyone expects us to be and that we expect ourselves to be. You know, when you look at the games that we played against Cleveland um, and Dallas and those back-to-back -back games back at the end of November where we beat two good teams, you know, and, and we did it at home. We beat Miami, you know. We beat we, – we have some big wins. We have some good wins, you know. So this team, without a doubt in my mind, is a very, very good team. You know, and, and we're a team that can go a long way. And I think that this team, once they start to click, you know, we're a top five team in the East, eyes closed. And once we hit that gear, we'll be more than fine. It's just taking a little bit longer this year to do it. But don't worry. Don't panic, Raptor fans. The Raptors will get to that gear very soon. But, guys, that is all I got on this video. You guys let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts on the Toronto Raptors. What do you guys think about the Raptors season so far? It's not gone well, but the Raptors have a shot tomorrow night at home against Sacramento Kings to get back to 500. And I think they're going to do that tomorrow night. Hopefully they do. But you guys let me know down below in the comment section. You guys think it's time to hit that panic button? Like I said, I do not think so. I think once the Raptors hit that gear, which will be very soon, um, you know, the Raptors will be good. And they'll be in cruise control. And like I said, they'll be a top four or five team in the East. No question about it. We'll be in the top six. That's good for that playing spot. I have no doubt in my mind. I have all the optimism in the world. And I can't wait. I'm very excited for the Raptors to hit that gear. And it's going to be soon. So I don't think we should hit the panic button. But you guys let me like that stuff down below in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, let's go Raptors.